um, and is, is that so? two four right now with Tazio lifetime. So I just I just want to talk about Tazio's grind set that he's been doing. He recently went on a trip with his partner to Italy, and they were driving down the beautiful Italian countryside, and his partner uh -oh, was very the one driving. Good. Very lucky. Very lucky. Tazio, what was he doing in that beautiful car ride? He was watching. He was doing vod review. He was studying the game instead of looking at that beautiful Italian countryside. While the moon was hitting your eye like a big pizza pie. He I was really has the more for melee. Yeah. No, he should be looking at that car window. That's what um, I told um, him. Yeah. I told him he was crazy. Yeah. But that's why he, he wants it. He, t he needs it. He can taste it. Well, he's fishing for tippers there. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, JD, kind of hanging in there here. Yeah. But we'll see. Very impressed. Ooh, nice. Should still be alive, yep. Yeah. Oh. Interesting okay. trade. Very nice. Very killed. I, you know what? I Not really like that weight on the up tilt because I think he thought that um, Moon Slayer might uh, spot dodge, and that's why there was a, it wasn't instant. All right, we're getting to the point. He's still alive. That's bananas. Arthritis really kicking in. There you go. <laughs> That'll do it. All righty, then. We got the shots. Our hands no longer hurt. We no longer have more arthritis. Okay. okay. The wall out has started. Yeah. The fares are out. But this is tough. Could be a kill. Oh, uh, the reverse fair. Okay. Oh, I don't like that early jump there. The, the regular fair. Okay. Yeah. All right. JD I, hanging in there. That early jump is really what sealed Tazio's uh, stock there. I think especially against Sheik in this matchup, you got to hold that jump as long as possible. Even if you're doing a mix-up, it doesn't always work out. Okay. Oh, I think nice. you want to turn around on an up tilt. Elusive is JD here. Yeah. I like it's that. It's been really hard for JD to get in. Yeah, Tazio will make that hard. Okay. Nice. Oh, misses uh, up tilt, but that's fine. JD just kind of running for his life here. Just rolling away, rolling away. Yeah. Just looking for a way to crack, okay? I don't know if you've ever heard of the donut uh, analogy, but like imagine Marth has like a donut in front of him. You either want to be outside the donut or in the hole, right, if you're chic. And Tazio has a really good, does a really good job of keeping you in the donut. Yeah, it's the fundamental, like, I remember reading like Ty's Marth guide back in the day about how it's like, Oh you, you are space and character. You're responding to what they're doing at all times. Yeah. You have to know your ranges. Those ranges are pretty universal for Marth players. Like, yeah. there's no one where you're like, oh, yeah, no, I don't want them in tipper range, you know? Yeah, you just want them to be right at the edge of that sword. Yeah. Oh, nice. The okay. real question is, if they're not there, how far away do you want them? Because yeah. Zane has been a big proponent of playing way closer than uh, past Marths have been. Being like basically just outside of tipper range where you can pressure. Yeah. Instead of being like maybe two or three body lengths away where you're safer to zone and kind of be more anticipatory in your swings. Yeah. Oh, interesting play by JD. Okay. I like that air dodge though. Okay. Okay, nice. Respectable showing. I didn't know JD Sheik was like this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, when you bring it out for one matchup, you're probably going to get good at it. You know what I mean? Will you? I feel like you know we got like ten other matchups to worry about. I don't know. You might you might just get good at that character instead. Oh, oh. not that consequential at one thirty eight, but yeah, but you're, not you what your ego needs. Yeah, especially he lived to like one seventy eight on the first stock or something crazy. So you know that could have that could have been very meaningful. Yeah, Pro Bowl flashes. That's fine. Yeah, it's good. But then you just have this ruthless assault from Tazio. Yeah, especially that's where, you know, that's where Marth wants to put Sheik, is in the air. Yeah. You want to get Sheik out of the triangles and right on, on top of your sword. And there she goes again. Oh, I love that. F, that up smash so much. <laughs> okay, nice. I think one more fair gives Tazio the setup to win. Okay. But a fair from Sheik will just do it too. Nice up there. Right, looking for oh. the mix ups just to pile up the damage. I get it. Yeah. I fuck with the vision. That's going to be tough to recover from. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't Especially even try. When you're in the blast zone. Yep. Okay, Tazio up 1 0 in this winner's quarter. You're in the danger zone. With the cream. The danger. Dig it!
All right, here we go. Game two. Let's see where they end up. I like it. This is a really good stage, honestly, for both characters. Uh, I've noticed in my experience. Because she has a really good time with their follow-ups on the scene. Oh, oh Zelda! Oh, he's shining. Okay, wait. He's shining. The fox man came out. Yep, and he paid for it. All right, having a hearty chuckle about that one. What can you do? Besides? It happens. Oh, nice grab. All right. Yeah, we're in bracket, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You're getting grabbed. You're lucky that's all that happened. Yeah, you could have. A lot worse could have happened. Get ready to speak highly in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. Food Fighter kind of combo. Oh, ooh, oh, okay. All right, what a redemption arc here. Yeah. That being said, Tazio dominating the stage here. Yeah. Really doing a good job at keeping uh, Food Slayer in that range that you want. That was so nice. All right, up tilt. JD stuck in the blender. Back neutral. Excellent movement to Tazio. Okay. Yeah, you just kind of got to wait for Marth to do something silly enough that you can punish. Oh, no. Uh, the, that's yeah, not that's, it. That is not it. That's definitely not it. Who knows what is it, but it's not that. Ooh, Lou nice. knows what it is. <laughs> Lou knows. Yeah. Lou, Lou, we asked Lou, he will know. Lou definitely knows what it is. And as Poon Slayer tries to figure it out, I'd like to thank everyone who donated again tonight. Oh, yeah. uh, we have Hip Inferno starting off right, getting the momentum started right uh, with the Ooh, 10 the beans. Needles. Those were Lou-esque. Mastazello with a nice 20 beans Hell to yeah, follow Mastizello. it up. Then we got Op Optissimum with a fiver. Love that. Tagen for Tamus. 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 Tamus with a hundy. Tamus was the hundy? Melee with Shit. 465 to get us to that 69. Funny to, get, to get us a funny number. Wait, so um, who did the 500? Did we find out? Uh, no. I, I, Does 500 also have like a a, a fake name? Uh, no. Melee, Melee has the fake name, yeah. Okay. And then okay. Frontier with the 9420 to get us to 69420. Oh yeah. Uh, and then myself, 270 to yeah, get Brando. us to 6969. We love 6969. If you want your name to be read out by Brando, donate in the chat below. All you got to do is do exclamation mark Tegan in chat and then follow the okay. instructions there. What a combo. Oh, my Lord. Goodness. So many fairs. Oh, uh, missed it. Looking for the okay. jab reset. Oh. Interesting choice to go for down tilt there. A Looking for an extension. I don't think the DI was quite what uh, a what mark goes for down air. Okay. And that's a different.